Hey. Oi. Okay. I. So I think we only have one option. Wait. So yeah, we got randomly selected. I'm the wizard boy. You're the uh, the the rogue. Yep. Okay. All right. And then some random person's the tank. This yeah. Mount Boris the bot. <laughs> it should yes. be okay. I mean, how thought you this... said they weren't totally brain dead. No, they weren't totally brain dead when I played, and they apparently buffed them up we'll in the brain it. department a little bit. But yeah, it, it might be good to just go down and look at your abilities very quickly. I don't know. Did you you played World of Warcraft? Did you ever play a rogue? I, not well. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think the rogue was the first one that I ever got to seventy. Yeah. Well, because the uh, your base idea is really tied to the rogue combo mechanic in World of Warcraft. Okay. Pretty straightforward, like that. Just quickly turn down the sound effects. Yeah. That is punchy. Oh, I'm a healer. Why? <laughs> okay. But I see how I see how that works. I see how the combo meter works. Yeah. I keep looking for a dodge roll button and I'm not seeing. There it. is one. It's on. Uh, it should be on shift. Oh, right. I yeah. decided to play this with a controller. Oh, which is, it's oh, on question mark question mark. I don't know. Yeah. It does seem like I'm a good game to. Reading the UI. Yeah. It seems like a good game to play with control. I I should have definitely considered yeah, it. Yeah, but you're you. Let's be honest. I, it's true. I play Spelunky with a controller. I do play Spelunky oh. with a controller. That's, okay, that's that's sane. That's mostly. I play Spelunky with a controller. I played. I, I I did attempt to play Hat in Time with keyboard, but I could not stand it, so I did play controller with that. Any Souls like I, I will I have to as well. I played that. I think I played through Hat in Time Hybrid. I, I switched back and forth depending on need. <laughs> I mean, that's that's wild right there. Yeah, because there were, there were certain moments where you really needed, like, a little bit of accuracy. Yeah. Uh, or, like, dodging. So I remember I spent, like, the pretty much the entire Mafia of Hats levels with keyboard and mouse until the boss fight, which it totally broke. Oh, okay. And so I figured, all right, let's just... Uh, Let's just switch the controller and then kind of just did it's, whatever. It's better than what my mind Im initially went to, which was like you had your left hand on like WASD and your right hand on the right control you know, stick. There, there are a couple of games where I wish that was actually doable and not garbage. Yeah. I, Gungeon being, I think, one of them. Where you would like WASD but then also not at the same time? Well, I aim with the... Aim with the the mouse, move with the controller. Because yeah. moving with WASD is restrictive. You've got effectively, what, the eight cardinal directions and then nothing more? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. If you ever see the, like, the little blue orbs on the ground, by the way, if you touch them, they'll pick it up for me. That's, uh, you see, I don't know if you can see underneath my name. I have three little orbs. You have three circles, yeah. If they're all empty, that means I can't do my heal. So if you see Got one of those, it. it'll fill up one of those slots, and then I can help heal. But I have to be in melee range. It's They did a good job. One thing I noticed with this is they made it so, like, the support class and the tank class don't just feel like, hi, I'm here to heal, or hi, I'm here to only, yeah. be, only be hit at. <laughs> I do have a shield that I can do infinitely, but... You have a you have an invisibility move that might help you stay alive as well. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one it is. I think it's as might far be... as I can tell, I've got a gas cloud. I think I've it's the gas big... cloud. Okay, I thought that was just poison. I could be wrong. I don't know. I played for I played for forty minutes like a week ago. I. Do you ever get it where you just kind of skip tutorials? Because it's like, yeah, I should be able to figure this out. This seems simple enough, and then everybody uh, never forgives you for it. Yeah, from time to time, for sure. I, I'd like to. I mean, I, it, it's the kind of thing where I especially like to... I'd like to do it before I start the videos. A lot of times, I just don't have time. So I'm just like, well, yep. rip. Hopefully, it. this is not important stuff. I just healed <laughs> myself. I am a bad healer. It's okay. I've I've finally figured out vaguely uh, to not put myself in harm's way if I can. 
Yeah. It also, if, if the tank can, like, properly taunt. Come on, tank. Random looking for good. Oh, I boy. Here you go. Yeah, these guys are stinky. I can get you back up, though. I was just like, I'm going to run away from the death lasers. Nope. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll hold on to my my stealth move. Yeah. Or if you oh, start here, I can hear you. That again. There. Hey. There. So, yeah, I guess it's a, it's on a delay, too. It's that little circle on the ground if you see me casting that. Oh, boy. <laughs> that beat here. Crawl over here. Crawl over here. I'll get you. Yep. <laughs> We're getting toasted. I, I was like, oh, he's lasering me. Time to go invisible. Down. Yeah. It looks like it's, it's like a... Infinite homing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it uh it, it does a lot of damage. Yeah. You you definitely Oh my god, so that AoE. Nope. Oh no, we're down! Yep. Now we gotta rely on the bot! <laughs> Come here, bot! Can we just I mean I don't think we can get each other up. <laughs> That'd be great. Nope. Oh no! Come on, mister! I mean, it makes he, he you can't. I don't think you can get people up while you're being attacked. So I don't think he had any chance to. Whoops. <laughs> I. Uh, well, uh, don't worry. I'll understand what I'm doing for I, next time. Also, I'll have items. Yeah, you'll have items. Also, I'll understand what I'm doing. I never played the. One thing I was I was mentioning before I hit my record button is that we get randomly selected which character we played as. I've never played as the wizard, so. I also didn't know what I was uh, doing anyway. Learning as we go. Yeah. But maybe if we both hit the ready button and then uh, put the stuff on our I've characters. Quickly. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That's extra crit damage. Dodge skill reduction. I've got a couple of items. Okay. And then I've unlocked the artisan, which is means nothing to me. Okay. Yeah, I think it's some. It's just I'm sure there's some kind of like crafting you can do. But if I could get the, if I could be Malboris when I hit level seven, which I actually almost am, then I could actively select the character. Then you'll know what know what to do. Yeah, I, I, I he's stockpiled up. He's got all kinds of stuff. He's, uh, he's I, a beefy boy. I think I've hit the learning curve. I, I now vaguely know what I'm doing. I think keyboard <laughs> mouse actually might be the good idea, too. Yeah, I, maybe. There were a couple of moves that I had to aim that yeah. would immediately like slow me down as I was slowly rotating the stick around to be like this way. Yeah. Uh, well, we got to. I'm just going to hit random. Random? I'm just hey, trying to see. I if... am now Mel Boris. You're Mel Boris. Ah, I'm the wizard again. It's okay. I put on a, I put on a couple of uh things randomly that hopefully are better than not having them now time to find out if the uh if the dps bot is dumb okay, yeah reducing coming damage basic sword strike dash take less damage for every enemy in front of you and get mad cool you, you are very much a uh, a protection warrior if you played that I, you know, Warrior is actually one of the only classes I've never played. Yeah, was it just like too um, too boring of a concept? Uh, uh, so I played back when they had all of the oh shit buttons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like too many of them. And yeah. so while it was immediately enjoyable, there was definitely this feeling of, uh, there was definitely this feeling of just like, I have too many buttons. Yeah, and you, it's it's basically just you're playing a game where you're looking at, like, 20 egg timers. <laughs> just yeah. figuring out when they're all going to go off. But, like, and so I, yeah. I played Druid, which is close. We've got a tiny room back here. Yeah. I have no idea what it is, but it I think it's interesting. Just, yeah, I think it's just got some stuff in it. Uh, I, storage room. I think there's goodies. Did You played uh, ta Tank Druid? Feral Tank? Yeah. Yeah, I... I have kind of bad altaholism whenever oh, I play MMOs that, like, I will just overplay, uh, I, I will over, overplay and, like, keep picking new characters and have no real sense of, like, who do I want to, who do I want to stick with? But Druid was the only one that I could, like, conclusively say, yeah, I'm just going to play Druid. Yeah. Because, you know, I could just be any of the major roles. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's a good one. I... I was stuck with uh, the. I was a, a rogue mostly for the first while, and I'm like, I can either be a damage or a damage or a damage. 
whatever you want. Yeah. How do you want my damage? But then, yeah, no, I, I, I would basically, like, I would get really attached to a character for every expansion, and then for the next expansion, I would just move on to a Who's new one. This? Oh. Oh, I see. The interact is here. There's the interact symbol is right next to where oh. I was standing, so I was trying to figure out what the <laughs> heck I was doing. Yeah. I like oh, it. wow, this map got a lot more complicated. Yeah, I think there, there's even like little tiny quote unquote puzzles here and there too. It's kind of just like uh, what I what I kind of noticed. The reason I especially was mentioning World of Warcraft stuff so much is it kind of reminds me of if you like boil down World of, a World of Warcraft dungeon to a like a, a brawler. Yeah, is, is what it feels like. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I yeah. always found World of Warcraft to be kind of detached after a while. Oh, absolutely. That I, I, I really liked the idea of so many things, but it needed to be like more of an action combat game yeah. to really hold my interest for longer than it did. Yeah, the combat is not the not the strong suit. It, it like it could get interesting in PvP if you were playing an interesting class, but <sighs> yeah. even that, I'm like. I, I don't know. I have so many hours in it, but, like, uh, yeah. I, it, I play, recognize a lot of flaws. Uh, did you play any of, like, Darksiders Genesis or anything like that? No, but I really I really want to. That's the action RPG one, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, It plays exactly like a Darksiders game, but with a more isometric perspective. And I was playing it, and I'm like, I would adore it if MMOs played like this. Yeah. It would obviously be way too high of a, a skill cap for, I think, most people. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I think we got to make all of these. Yeah, I think, I think the bot unhit them. <laughs> there we go. Trial and error? Hey, oh, there we go. baby. But yeah, it's, it, it, it seems like there's a very clear, like, there's a flow chart with the combat here, but it's more involved than like a Diablo on average. It feels yeah, is what it feels where you like. You just walk forward and blast, and yeah. sometimes hit another move. Maybe <laughs> if you're barbarian, press spin. Yep. <laughs> uh, which, which is a great leap. Yeah. yeah. Or spin and great leap. Those yeah. are the two. Yeah. Spin, spin, great leap. This Time to die. Stirring. But oh. I don't know what the like. The end game. I know there's bosses in this. We we not that we not that we need a challenge since we died in the first like couple of minutes. But this seems to be going a lot better. I feel like I'm getting way more of the healing orbs to actually do my healing stuff. And I I know my role, and I don't have to worry about dodging or avoiding damage. It's, it's true. As much. You're less less squishy, which means I I have to do my job less. And I don't care if the bot dies. The bot dies, whatever. I, as far as I can tell, the bot just automatically takes less damage. But that might just be uh, confirmation bias. Yeah. I don't know. They, they, this one, I definitely, at the moment, prefer having them on uh, on this one. Just press. Yep. They do have. Um. I think uh, one of the major things I did forget to mention about your your role. <laughs> as that damage dealer is you're also the kick bot the interrupt bot uh, ah. i did forget to mention that I f because i totally forgot about it that is they actually have an important role like like rogues do in world of warcraft dungeons and everything like that like oh we unlocked a new hero hey hey i think that they might just be a different version of my class but i know they're adding yeah i think the the roles are the the exact same it's just probably different moves yeah i know that there's a uh, a fourth class coming soon though it really wanted us to know that on the lo like initial loading screen <laughs> you guys dodged my heel <laughs> oops <laughs> it's, it's it's my fault it's like it's interesting to have a, a skill shot on a heel i gosh what you Wild Star had that, and it was yeah, weird. yeah. Wild Star, I, I know we we talked about it, whatever on Twitter, or something. I, I, I really, that's the one dead game that I really wish could just if, not be dead for a bit. Out, yeah, if it came out nowadays, I think I would actually play it. 
Yeah. I, back when it first came out, it just did not run on my computer. Yeah, it uh, made my computer like screen. Map? Yep. Is there a map button we can hit? Or... Uh... Oh. Oop. I, I, oh, here, I'll put, oh no, there's actually, never mind, there's a big boy, never mind. Oh boy. Whoo! Oh my god! Yeah, that, that big skull thing apparently that, is death. Yeah, it's very scary death. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Oh boy. I was just ta I was tabbing out to see if there was a, a, a map control. Because it does seem like it'd be useful. Uh, let's see. Controls. Configure controls. Wow, there's a bunch. No. No? Nope. Nope. I think we just go where the exclamation point is generally, but still, that's probably should be a map. <laughs> I think that that would be a good feature for a video game. Have we, like, have we been here? Oh. I don't think we've been here. I think we have, but our objective is apparently hunters have been dispatched. We I need to escape. The energies okay. There's uh, I'm, I'm just been going towards all the exclamation points, and it seems like it's been going well. New quest yeah. to feed all the enemies. I like that quest. I understand that quest. Yeah. No brain there. Uh, let's see. All right. I totally forgot I have a super move that I should probably utilize. Oh, I've not even looked at mine. <laughs> I don't even know what mine is. Two spirits of Dina and Duran fight alongside you for 30 seconds. Of course. Of course, Dina. Yep. Oh, they're just books. You know, girl next door. <laughs> Dina, the book next door. They're literally yeah. just books, Dina. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, it's a boss. Gross. Gross. Ew. Their tentacles have faces on them. Oh. I, you know, that works in Hades, but only in Hades and only barely in Hades. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can't heal you. Can't heal you. Oh, uh, there. I'll get my shield. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is interesting. Like, I actually have to pay attention to when you're about to take burst damage. So I, cause I can give you invincibility for a little short period of time. Ah. I gotta fake. Oh no, you dodged my no. attack! Oh heck! They summoned a murder here, skull right here, on Here, get me. out of this, uh, get out of the circle and I can revive you. They're summoning more. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, I'm up. For how long? I'll just sit here. Wait. I can't. There you go, you're shielded. Oh my god. I gotta heal. Oh! Perfect. Okay. So that felt pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that, this is. Learning the enemy patterns is going to be yeah. different. And I got more loot than I can shake a stick at. We did one. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I mentioned at the beginning of this, oh, blight from adventuring. So they get blighted slowly, so you can't use them? Yeah, dark, there's kind of like a darkest dungeon-y, like... Makes sense. ...system back at home. Uh, they they really like with especially with the randomized character. It seems like they really want to make sure you uh, try out other people. Makes sense. I was gonna mention by the way, I, they apparently sent me like seven keys. So if we ever want to recruit anybody else to play this with yeah. us, yeah, yeah. If we if if we if we finish this session and we are interested, we'll in, play in more. and we want to play more, that could be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a new the new character. I don't know. A beam, search of healing. Seems like it's. Oh. The same. Ish. Oh, yeah, sort of. Seems like it's sort of the same. Maybe they have one different move? Oh, yeah, they, they have a different. They have a different spell and a different passive. Yeah. They're, they're close, close, but not exactly the same. The thing is, yeah, that, yeah, he's got a healing beam. A healing beam instead. So you have Tekka oh, too. No, they they both have a healing beam. Yeah, uh, there's a mine has down in the Titan skills area. There's unleash the spirits and reversal reversal shield on the one, 
and Gravity Well in, is on the other guy instead of uh, ah. Unleash Spirits, which is like a pull them towards the center, but then they, they also have a different passive on mine. I don't know if yours is the same. Yeah, yeah, Conduit versus... Yeah. The, the one thing... So it yeah. seems like Tekka is more of a damage character. Yeah, potentially. I just... What I do not like about the randomized thing is that I feel like I'm supposed to go in and do the stats and items of all these characters, but I don't want to, like, I don't want to waste the time. <laughs> but, like, it seems like it'd be a good idea to do. Go in and make sure they're all properly equipped. Hmm. Maybe just throw on trinkets. Oh, okay. Ooh, excellent. He's can... throwing tutorials at me. I oh. have to escape them. Oh, is it trying to tell you about the... Uh... Oh, Standing elder. up. Yeah. I got an elder. Hmm. Don't... I, I'm just... I'm one level shy of being able to select my character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one level shy. And then on level nine, I get plus one a thurry sparks per minute. <laughs> I Whatever that means. <laughs> Currently, I get zero a thurry sparks per minute, so the net gain is uh, incalculably high. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm ready to have whatever you are... Stand yeah, up and I'm ready. Just very quickly switching yeah. around Not staves. A yeah, I got um, I got this really special sword on on my Malboris, and I wanted to use it. It's it seems like the uh, the higher rarity loot is like very like a lot better. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like it has twice as I... many bonus stats on it. When it comes to leveling up, by the way, apparently like. Just putting points into luck uh, it increases your loot finds. How do you feel about that kind of mechanic? I, it, it's weird because it, it feels like in, I never know on the game because in some games it's like you're a straight up dingus if you don't put it your stats into luck right away. And then there's some where it's like it never, yeah, never pans it out might statistically. Net you like, yeah, it might net you half a percent increase. It's like why would you even invest in this? Yeah, you fool. So it just, it's weird because it, it feels like it's down to the game and I just, I don't know. Oh, easy. Oh. Oops. What I, I see easy, I easy, and very hard. <laughs> I see, yeah. Easy, easy, very hard. <laughs> Do you want to hit random and see what happens? Sure. <laughs> there we go. Easy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Russian roulette, but for difficulty curves. Yeah. It's like you know all the <laughs> all the discussion about should hey. games have a I'm the wizard again. We'll find should games last. have a a hard mode? Should and people are like you know or an easy mode or a hard mode at the beginning. Why not just make every game have a a random difficulty slider? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that surprised me always. <laughs> I I would love if I mean I wouldn't. It would be a very interesting concept. If someday, like, a game came out, and when they sent out press keys, they had completely randomized stats based off of the game for, like, how much damage enemies do to you and how fast they move and stuff oh, like that. Oh, that would be... So that it was just... Everybody had a completely different baseline of how hard the game is. I could see that working for, like, a couple of companies. Yeah. And it would then have to everyone be everyone else... Uh, the right game, too. Ugh. It'd be hilarious. It'd be... But bad. Yeah. <laughs> but bad. Your wow, the bot just eats it. Yeah, he's just, he's I dumb, guess we man. got too far away, so she stopped doing the puzzle correctly. Yeah. She's like, guys, wait up! Got leather scraps. Oh, apparently, I, if I got leather scraps, there must be crafting that I didn't even. I haven't even yeah, looked at. I, I think leather scraps are equipable as a basic, like, they reduce your dash cooldown. Oh. But then you can craft with them, I think. Yeah, you just At put least it on I've your got shoes. a bunch of leather scrappy looking things that reduce my cooldowns, so. Yeah. On literally every character, I just put in the same trinkets. I put in one that increases my crit chance and one that increases my crit damage. 
Because I'm like, these synergize and I don't have to think about it. <laughs> and now, uh, now I'm a crit healer. I mean, I wonder if I can critically heal. I'll it. I don't know if it's I, possible. I, it should. It always yeah. bugs me in games where it's just like, this move doesn't crit. Why? We're yeah. not going to explain why. This, this, this one channels the, uh, the power of a deity that does not like crits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he, is, he thinks uh, randomness is uh, abhorrent. A sin. Exactly. Everything should be normal. God right. of order. <laughs> predictable. Must be predictable only. Yep. I just get to, I just get to straight up teleport through this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love, I love when the when the bot goes in before you get there. She's just like, okay. Uh, she's fine, apparently. She, yeah, I mean, nothing I, else, nothing matters. There's a certain Traps are the only uh, danger to her. Yeah, <laughs> and bosses, and that's it. To a certain extent, I can. <laughs> I, <Nope. yeah. laughs> I, maybe I should be doing callouts on my heel. I just. Well, your character does. I just have to be listening. Yeah. I heard, I'm here for healing as I'm like dashing oh. <laughs> up just to go break boxes. It's like, whoops. There. <laughs> hey. Just teleport ahead and do it. I need to. It's like, um. Did you ever play Bloodline Champions or Battle Right? Have we talked about that? Have you ever played I never either? played Battle Right. Did you it play Bloodline Champions? Where it's like, I think if I had a group of friends that were into it i'd be fine but i had one friend that played it semi well not semi pro but like did tournaments yeah and just everybody else never even had like expressed interest in it i think we got loot up here yeah uh, and so it's just like i feel like if we were to record this as a group it would be everybody versus the one person and i don't know if that's possible and so i just wrote it off as a yeah thing for never probably yeah uh, not really going to work but it'd be cool did you have you played? Did you play Bloodline Champions? Or uh, wait, Battle Right? I, wait, which one did you say? Sorry, Battle Right. Which one did you say I, you I were thinking right, of? Playing? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew about it. I loaded up. I played it solo for like 20 minutes, and I was like, I, this is not relevant to YouTube for me. So I will just. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't have any heal anything. Oh. I'm healing. Circle. No. Oh, heck. Oh boy. Danger circle. Somebody, wait, wait. She got knocked out where she's, okay, okay. Yeah, she just got lasered in the face by two of yeah. them. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of heals. Yep. I have a shield in a second. I'm just gonna let her do her thing up there. There, you're invincible. Oh. Okay, she's down again. <laughs> oh boy, where is she? did she? Wait, did she? Her up. Okay, okay. She's just standing right in the be big beams. <laughs> Come and get yep, me, she please. Does. Okay, I figured out the. Uh, I figured out the trick with this boss. You have to kill his clones, or they start be beaming you. That, so I got to save my like big AOE for that it. That makes sense. And. Oh boy. Once again. <laughs> I just I tried to shield myself and literally uh, walk in front of it. That's one thing that I thought was kind of fun with uh, the character you're playing as. How you have the, uh, in order to do the higher damaging move, you have to actually block attacks. Huh. Uh, like you know the little meter under your under your <laughs> under your bar. Oh yeah yeah yeah. If you block an attack, you'll get one of those charges, and it makes your your melee swing do a lot more damage. Good to know. Uh, but Parry so system. what is kind of fun is you can literally you can literally step in front of bullets for your teammates with that up to block them. Yeah, to block them and get and it, you get like double value out of it, which I thought was really fun. Some sort of urn containing. I I will have to do that. I will admit half the time blocking is. This on my scroll. It doesn't seem necessary until it's like super necessary. Yeah. It's. It seems like in. It depends on the game too. It's like how. It's. It's always how it is, especially when you play all, so many games all the time. You're like, here's the system that is in another game, but you know, throw the dart at the board to figure out how useful it is in this one. 
you know. Uh, yeah. Have I mean, we've obviously played a lot of Dark Souls, both of us. Uh, blocking. Yeah. Dark Souls convinced me to stop blocking over the course of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Dark yeah. Souls 1? Blocking? Yeah, you can block. Dark Souls 2? You can mostly block. The big hits are pretty easy to tell. Dark Souls 3, good luck. Blocking, yeah. is, for, blocking is for scrubs. It will kill you. <laughs> just dodge forehead. Oh. Yep. And so, like, now I just don't block in games anymore. It's just like, this is only going to end poorly for me. Yeah. But, like, I'm sure there's some where it's, it's totally the, the meta. But, like, I don't know, what was it I played, I played recently? Oh, Rogue Legacy 2 had that shield spell, and everyone was like, use the shield spell, and I'm like, I don't want to. It's, it's so expensive. Yeah. Did this guy just break? I think I, I think we popped him. I think he maybe spawned in a bad spot, but I got a blood skull. He, he just sat there and just stared. Yeah. <laughs> we just made We were very scary. But yeah, I, I totally agree on Rogue Legacy. I wish the shield for the Paladin was purely just on cooldown and just had no mana cost. Yeah. Oh, I see. I have to like a legit on puzzle. There we go. A legit puzzle? Yeah. Come on, bot. Oh, no. Okay, she's coming. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so do not block. I, I like how, yeah, I had a teleport, and I still, like, took 12 hits from it. Neat. It could have done worse. Corpse Man, Eater what other mechanics? I love... What other mechanics have I gotten ruined on? I don't know. You were going to say, sorry? No, I just I love when games have these randomized names. I got, um... Oh. There, there was someone that was just, like... I can't remember. It was just like it was like gross, gross Adam or something like that, in this game. <laughs> in the in my first, the video, the the let's try a bit of it, and I I just love when I see that, that kind of stuff. You just it's a lot of them are just fine that you just write them off, but then you get that one that's just like gross Adam, and you're like this is great. Man, I am. I can't remember shit today for whatever reason. You, you're talking about like randomized enemy names, and I was playing something super recently with this exact situation where yeah. there were enemies with. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> was it um? What is that game? Darksburg. Did they have randomized enemies? No. I. It had mid bosses, but the mid bosses always had the same name, so it was easy to recognize them. Yeah. Did you see that Torchlight is was running a uh, Torchlight Three was running a Twitter poll to rename Bruce Killis? <laughs> I <laughs> the <did> mini not. <laughs> yeah. I should probably pay more attention. They tapped me for like a, a sponsored video on the uh, you know to promote the uh, the one point release. So I played that recently. Oh. I, when, when's the one point coming out? Better now. I think it came out today, oh. actually. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. I, their marketing is kind of limited. I think they were trying to go for, like, big announcements today, you know, like, big yeah. major release, but... Cattle Liquor Viral. <laughs> <laughs> what part of the cattle? <laughs> All of the cattle. Uh. <laughs> just dude shows up, just starts licking, just the hide. I mean, I the horns. I would let him. Stomped, I'm not gonna. Gets raised as an undead. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, goes Tor back to it. You're saying Torchlight Three is is better now from what you played? I I think so. Like the yeah. thing is, ultimately, I've only ever played the same first hour effectively. Yeah. Uh, was the first hour more polished? I. Uh, I think the biggest issue was the netcode when we played, so I can't yeah. tell you. Because yeah. that was the only real problem. It, it made it uh, hard to pay it, attention. Yeah. But it, it feels better. I also played the robot character, who was a lot more fun than Train Man. Yeah. But I think my experience with Train Man was very limited. Yeah. I liked Train Man, terms... but the weird, like, how the animations of the train tracks kind of just, like, popped in was really jarring. It was super weird. 
What even uh, what did robot what does robot man even do in that? Uh, well, he's got a shotgun for a belly. And I'm it sold. turns out that's real good. <laughs> one, could, I, one could imagine. Like, I, it just had, uh, like, the first upgrade for it is, gives shotgun knockback, and so I just sat there shotgunning everything <laughs> away from me. <laughs> it still felt very strange. Like, it was almost good, but I couldn't put my finger on why it wasn't perfect. Yeah, that that's my thing with it, is, like, it's one of, it was... Because I, I enjoyed my time, but it's just like... I probably just enjoyed my time because we were playing it, and I, it's just easy to enjoy my time. I, I, I'm the yeah. kind of person where, like, I... I have a really easy time just enjoying myself with a game, even when I don't think it's very good. Like, I, I can... I will very, very rarely say that I think a game is bad, but I definitely felt something quite... I just... I was disappointed by Torchlight 3 because I love Torchlight 1 and 2 so much. And I Maybe just... that's it, is that it just, the previous two felt tighter, or I had more of a connection to them somehow. Yeah. I can feel the energy like, I, I couldn't exactly pinpoint it, and that's why, like, I don't, I, I never would want to say, like, that it wasn't good or anything, because I just, like, if, I feel like if I can't say why, I feel like I kind of just yeah, should, then should don't wait. don't say anything at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like it's it's not if it's not gonna be helpful critique for a dev I'm like well like I don't I, think I don't love it me <laughs> fixed here here's my critique I don't love it what are you gonna do with it I don't put with that information yeah. <laughs> it's also like do you say that in a sponsored video and oh, my policy is always just yeah. like if if I hit that point in a sponsored video I just say never mind yeah I will not. I will, I will not, not do the sponsor. Uh, continue yeah. with this. Yeah. Which usually just means I don't agree to anything that I know I won't already like. Yeah. That's that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm like I it, it's it's nice because a lot of times recently I you know, getting offers for things that I would probably play anyways. But like yeah. I just it's it's good to get the sponsored opportunity for like well one, obviously it's good to get the opportunity. Two because it's like, uh, it just helps me decide. <laughs> it helps me make decisions, too. Because it's, it's it's such limited time, so. Yep. Makes it a much easier decision. I Time management is rough. Yeah. I want to say it felt easier X number of years ago, and I'm not sure where the Switch was. Probably 2017. But, like, I can't finish games even if I want to nowadays. Like, I haven't even gotten to the true, true ending in Hades. Oh. Hmm. Like, I I got I, I got to the, the credits, and I was like, oh, they, okay, this is pretty good. Oh, right, there is more. Uh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, I'm at the... I'm at it the doesn't help. ...point where I, I, I hit the credits just, just, just <laughs> so I don't accidentally get... Spoiled. I, I'm at the point where I hit the credits and I assumed there's more after. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly where I am. Okay. I oh, okay, kept okay. I a little bit more uh, for a couple of runs, and there's, like, hints of, yeah, there's more, but... Oh, my goodness. We have all, we have all these helpers. We're just making this a joke. Yeah, we're supposed to rescue the uh, survivors. <laughs> I mean that you know they did say this was an easy one. They're, it's true. They're not the, wrong. That other mid boss was a lot scarier. Yeah, I got a ooh, got a green eye patch. Ooh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's like it's a magical eye patch. It'll in increase your power. Yeah, but it'll kill my peripheral vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah but stats. I know. I want it to be like decreases uh, light radius by thirty percent. <laughs> yeah, see, that would make sense. Yeah. It's like in, in Gungeon now, it's a damage up and an accuracy downgrade. <laughs> <laughs>